Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a work and career reading for Sagittarius from the 12th to the 25th of August 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon or rising sign for a more complete picture. If you would like a personal reading that resonates more with your circumstance, please go to my website jessmy.co.uk and book a reading. I've put the decks that I'm using in the description box, so please have a look. And don't forget to watch my simple energy healing remedy videos as well as my deck walkthrough series. You will find that very, very interesting. So like, share, and subscribe if these messages resonate with you. So you're just getting on with the daily uh, routines of life, really, being very, very ordinary. And, uh, you know, just getting on with things, nothing spectacular happening over there. Uh, you're trying to get yourself sorted out. You're, you know, you're, you're balancing yourself over there, whatever you're doing at the moment. Uh, you know, you're just maybe trying to just keep your head above water, making sure everything is sorted out, um, you know, getting everything, um, as they say, uh, you know, you're work, walking this tightrope over here. So whatever you're doing is pretty difficult. And, uh, you know, you're learning as well on that particular job that you're doing, and you're just trying to get yourself in balance, really. Um, you know, trying to use all your skills as well. So uh, there might be some study or learning that you are doing at the moment. So whatever you're doing, you are learning on the job, but there, there could be some kind of course or refresher course that you're doing at this particular moment uh, on this job right now. So there's some training that's being, that you're doing at the moment with this particular job. So in the past, it's about, uh, you know, uh, the art of relaxing. So you did need to take a little bit of a break, a little bit of holiday, being very, very stressed out in this particular job and needing to, uh, you know, calm down in this uh, particular uh, situation. You have been going through a lot of conflict. Maybe somebody's been giving you a bit of a hard time over there and there was a need for you to just hang in there. Uh, you know, this too shall pass, they say. So there has been somebody that has been giving you a little bit of grief, um, you know, having a go at you at on this particular job. You are relying a lot on your instincts as well uh, with this balance card. So apart from being balanced, you know, you are um, feeling your way through this particular job. And you're doing pretty good uh, at it because you're managing to keep your balance. Um, you've got the crystallize yourself uh, card and the going to the future and the true nourishment card. So you're hoping whatever you know, you're doing right now is going to give you some satisfaction. That is what you're working towards to get some greater job satisfaction. And you also want to get recognition for whatever it is you're doing. So you want to reach the top and you want that recognition to come in and you also are looking towards job satisfaction, a true nourishment, this particular job that you're working uh, on. You want it, uh, you know, to uh, be something that you've always wanted to do. It's Maybe it's been something that you've always wanted to do, but you want that satisfaction, that job satisfaction as well. Coming up as well, there might be a lot of business meetings that you are going to be attending soon. Uh, and you might be getting a lot of recognition for all the work that you've done. So uh, whatever you have been, uh, you know, learning, uh, it's bringing you into your own. It's giving you that independence. And, you know, people are starting to stand and take notice um, of your skills as well. And, you know, like I said, there might be a lot of networking coming up for you soon and meeting a lot of new people as well on that business front. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to draw some cards from the um, Black Cat's Tarot for the main read. So you've got the world card over here, and this is about transformation. So whatever you're doing, whatever you're learning, whatever skills you have, uh, you know, you are growing quite a bit. You're shedding that old, uh, maybe shedding the ignorance in a sense, uh, and learning and becoming something really uh, amazing uh, in this particular job. So this is coming to an end of a cycle. Maybe it was a training cycle that you had to learn quite a bit. And all that, uh, um, you know, maybe ignorance, doubt, or whatever it is in your mind um, that didn't allow you to shine is now being shed and you know you are now reaching the conclusion of that so maybe you're coming to the end of your training or whatever you've done whatever courses you've done whatever studying you have done has uh, you know uh, 
improved your status and it's going to or it you know you're reaching that point where uh, you're ending that cycle of learning and now you're going to be shining uh, is it like a new person emerging so what you were when you started at this job is now completely changing and you're shedding that old uh, self maybe uh, the being naive is is going and you are now very very experienced at what you do you do uh, and very very knowledgeable um, at what you do and people are starting to recognize that this is the card of achievement this is a card about coming into your own um, as well and you know a lot of people will recognize all your skills you are coming out or emerging as something very very uniquely talented now you do need to take a little bit of a break you've got that four of swords over here so you've been working very very hard you may have some kind of stress related illness going on over there or you might not be feeling quite yourself a little under the weather you do need to take a little bit of a break there's been a lot of problems you've been dealing with uh you can see this man's foot is broken over here so you could be you know you could need to take a, a good uh, sit down a you know a complete rest um, in order for you to regroup and come up with new plans and new strategies you've been investing a lot of time and effort into your work uh, you know starting it off uh, watching things grow there you can see but a lot of effort and you've had a lot of patience so uh, you've been putting a lot into it and are you expecting or waiting for rewards or returns from it uh, but this has caused a lot of stress and it's had some effect on your health so you do actually need to go and take a little bit of a rest so you've got the ten of pentacles over here so it looks like you know you might even be thinking of moving on from this particular job so with the world card it's also about change you've changed quite a bit uh this is about ending off jobs as well so reaching the end of that particular work cycle with that ten of pentacles thinking of actually moving on you've reached the top there's no um you know there's no further to go you've reached you know the heights of what you can reach and maybe you are are planning on moving on and you're at this crossroads in your life over here you can see that it's ten of pentacles uh, followed by the two of pentacles and you can see uh, there's a lot of pathways that are opening up for you so you may have gone through a period of training or studying this could be the end of uh, you know your training period um, and now you know you've reached the top you finally achieved whatever you needed to achieve because both these cards are cards of achievement and transformation uh, but now it's you're at a crossroads in your life and trying to decide what you want to do which career path you want to follow you can see this cat is completely blindfolded over here so you're not quite sure about what you want to do you're weighing all your options uh, you know you are having a few money problems as well this is about juggling finances uh, but you're trying to decide what you want to do next uh, you know even the energy read you it was about you know walking tight ropes over there so you know you you are at this point where you're trying to uh, make up your mind trying to make that decision about what you want to do now wherever you are at you know you're not feeling very happy there's a, this feeling about uh, you know feeling a bit negative feeling a bit depressed about being uh, here maybe you wanted a promotion or you wanted some kind of um, you wanted to achieve much more in this particular job and it has not come for you and there's some kind of disappointment um, where people may have made promises and these have not been kept so it looks like you're a bit uh, miserable about being uh, remaining in this particular job and it looks like you do want to move on that is why you know, you've got that ten of pentacles over there you've got that world card and they're trying to make a decision about moving on so you are making plans you've got that six of cups over here you can see wanting to leave that past behind and moving forward so you are sitting and making some plans for the future you might be uh, thinking about the past a little bit there uh, but you are sitting and trying to make plans for the future um, and trying to move on and maybe you're thinking of further education as well this person's got the cup yeah, the cat's got the cup in the hand over there so maybe thinking about even doing some further training so it looks like you want to leave the situation move on you've got that six of uh, swords over here uh, something's going on over here that you know you're not really happy about maybe there's a lot of problems maybe you're dealing with a lot of conflict a lot of difficult people and it looks like uh, you're you know you're, you're planning on on packing things up and moving on from this particular situation maybe you want to do some overseas travel so maybe even staying in this you know in this particular country and doing it is not what you want to do you want to take your skills and move on move overseas so there you go there is some conflict going on over there so there's somebody that is around you that is giving you quite a hard time and in your, at your workplace over there and you can see there's a lot of fighting going on over there you'll seem to be equally matched uh but it you know it looks like you're going to be leaving that conflict and going on you may have had enough of it maybe this person says things that are really nasty and you know you've had enough dealing with that so there's a there's some kind of verbal uh, ongoing verbal conf conflict that is going on over there and it seems like you want to move on from it 
uh, where you you know you got the three of cups over here so you want to move to a place this is in your hopes and fears where you can get along with the people better better communication you know uh, where there's uh, maybe further learning as well uh, further education so you, it seems like you're looking for a job where you can um, you know get along better with the people and where there's the scope for further training or further education so um, going into the future and the final outcome over there you've got the moon card uh, and you can see this feeling very tied up in that particular situation being very negative very confused very conflicted as well I uh, have wanting to make a decision but not really see getting all the facts you can see there are two mountains over here so feeling as though you're facing a lot of obstacles as well uh, maybe not sleeping well at night so this is what you're going through in a period of a bit of depression there uh, going in there you're doing a lot of self-reflection as well uh, and maybe feeling very very emotional now you've got that king of pentacles over here so there is going to be some kind of new job offer that comes in uh, for you there uh, and it looks like it's going to give you a lot of money coming in so uh, whatever this job is that comes in for you is going to be really well paying uh, it looks like this is going to be a good offer that comes in and something that's well worth taking it's in some kind of management position over here and there's a lot of money to be had in this particular job the wheel of fortune coming in over there uh, and making that big change uh, you can see uh, you know um, running around in that uh, wheel over there not quite sure about what's going on uh, but you know you're trying to make plans for the future but it looks like the wheel of fortune is going to bring in that big change so it looks like it seems like this job is going to be um you know coming in for you and the, you know it's um it's something that's pretty comic because the wheel of fortune is coming in after that so it's going to uh, maybe appear quite suddenly something unexpected coming in an unexpected offer coming in for you that's going to bring in a lot of finance and you have been looking to move from this particular job you're not very very happy with it uh, you know, you are trying to make plans for the future of here, and you are maybe you've put out feelers or you've put out your CV and have been waiting for it. You are dealing with people that are giving you quite a hard time, and you do want to move on. So this might be a job overseas, and it looks like the uh, financial payoff is pretty good for it. It's a management position as well, and you can see this wheel of fortune is sitting in the sea as well. So uh, maybe leaving that um, where you're living at, or li leaving that country and. Uh, moving overseas is going to be the, the thing that opens the door for you and brings in this new job that is going to be well paid so it looks like you're changing things completely are you moving on uh you know you're ending this job uh you've had enough of it it seems and uh you know you feel maybe with that seven of um pentacles you have invested a lot of time and effort into this particular job and you've been waiting quite patiently but maybe the payoff has not come in and maybe this is the reason why you are feeling so disappointed Okay, so I'm going to just draw some cards from the fairy um, tarot for the oracle read. So it's the release card, which is the death card, and this is letting go of the past, the ending that makes way for new opportunities and a time to move on. So you are cutting your losses and you are moving on with that death card. You've got the nine of summer, so wishes are coming true for you, dreams fulfilled and a magical time in life. So once you make that decision about moving on, cutting ties, it looks like everything is going to be coming into your arena. Life experience card, big changes coming in. So this Wheel of Fortune is bringing in the tower. And the tower means that there's a big life-changing event coming on, a situation that leads to significant opportunities. So uh, you are going to be moving on. Uh, this um, offer might come in as I said rather unexpectedly because the tower energy generally comes in quite unexpectedly so this is going to be a big radical change uh, maybe shift a relocation and even moving on moving overseas to actually do this job so big changes coming in for you over there pretty positive because it's sitting next to the wishes card so even though it's a tower energy this just means a radical upheaval that's coming in uh, but it's going to bring in all your wishes and it looks like you're going to be moving overseas cutting those losses and moving on to go and do your job somewhere else and it's going to be a pretty well-paid job so i hope this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye